Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you at 3 in the morning, right outside of Port of Spain, Trinidad, and Tobago. Today, I'm super pumped because we're going to hit up two spots, two famous joints. Sharita's Place, which is now Cassie's Creations, for some Indian delicacies. And then after this, we're going to a doubles factory, literally down the road, a doubles factory. So what are doubles? That's the most famous dish here in Trinidad. It is bada, which is like a bread, and you have chickpeas, so chana. So doubles all day. And my friend, Shiraz, how you doing? Chef Shiraz, Mohammed. How's everything? Good, 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 good. Glad so, to have you training, Thank you so much. So you're taking me around today. What are we doing? We try some local delicacies, some local cuisine that is so significant to our heritage here in Trinidad. So what do they have here at Shiraz? They have from aloo pies. They're going to have sweet and savory. Okay. Sweet and savory. They're going to have roti. They're going to have aloo pies. They're going to have all the different chokers. We're going to say meaning vegetable chokers. Okay. Meat chokers. So choka is really the significance of the different variations as well. And, and chokas is like something that hits oil, right? It's like fried. Tomatoes, eggplant. Oh, so so vegetables. Okay, 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 perfect. <laughs> and so here we have it. Hey, how you doing? How's everything, guys? Yo, how you doing? Good. Welcome to Cassation. Thank you so much. So you're Sharita's son. Awesome. So what's your name? I'm Ishmael. I'm Ishmael. Ishmael Kasi, so that's why the new name Kasi is Creation. Oh, okay, fantastic. So basically, I just want to give a little intro about our business. We serve breakfast, lunch, and bakery items. We open every day from 3 a.m. except Tuesdays, that's our day off. And we open on public holidays and weekends. Um, unfortunately, food places had to close during COVID times and we became adaptable and converted to a bakery. We are now serving breakfast, lunch, and bakery items as well. So now this is a grab and go spot, right? As soon as you get here this is all the bakery items so you have like almost like empanadas right custard tart chicken pie over here we have some of the different sauces morning guys morning super early right <laughs> and now let's go inside all right <laughs> to be honest with you man i can't believe this customer is here at three in the morning this is amazing you can't get more local than this yeah provision and stew fish this is a mixer cassava sweet potato and dashings um we also have fried chicken this is curry shrimp we have stew beef gizzard this is chicken liver beef chicken we have small carrot bulljol here salt fish bulljol this is fried egg and sausage, and then we move on to the vegetables. We have fried aloo, this is roast baigan chuka, roasted baigan or eggplant, dashi bush, bhaji as they call it, or um, foreigners would know it as taro leaves. Mm -hmm. and they fry it up with um, seasoning and they cook it down. This is karaili or bitter good, pak choy, this is another type of spinach or bhaji. This here is curry and aloo, it's similar to um, Bodhi, uh, okra as well. This is tomato shuka. We have pumpkin fried bodhi here as well. The masa when it comes to Trinidad, currants roll and coconut roll. These are both sweet eyes. We have the cheese pie, this is chicken pies, and this is beef roll. So normally you'll get a beef pie around the country, but it's something from the old ancient days where they used to make beef rolls. So this is why we make it because our customers really like that homemade taste we all enjoy. So that's why we made the beef roll instead of a regular beef pie. So we have lots of meats, we have lots of vegetables, we also have rotis. We have a few different variations right here. So here this is called saddle roti. It's like a flatbread. Mm -hmm. um, this here is fried bake. So it's the same sort of flatbread but they just fry it in oil. Homemade coconut bake. So that's the hitty tropical side of it. Dal pre. This is where they fill it with split peas and stuff it in the roti and make it. And this is bus up shot or parata. And we also have pepper roti. So now we're going to see how we make a traditional uh, roti. I'm going to put some fillet in the as well. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go. Hello. Hello. Morning. How are you doing? Oh wow. Okay, so over here we just saw how he made two different rotis. So what he did is he just grabbed dough, mixed it with some flour, all-purpose flour, then he stuffed it with dahi. So split lentils, right? Split peas, okay? So he did that and then he rolled out a big bread, threw it on this griddle, and this is called what? This is parata. Oh, this is, but, okay. Or, oh, basapsha. Basapsha, yeah. yeah. Local slang, basapsha. Yeah, so he said basapsha and then he did it and I was like, oh, this is like literally a parata. So he just gets clarified butter, throws it on this little grill, and then it just cooks up, right? It just starts to bubble up. See all the little layers? Oh man, nice and fluffy this one. Oh, this is how he makes basapsha. So what we saw earlier was not roti, it is dal puri. So he just made it into this big ball full of split peas. And then he's rolling it out, flattening it, then throwing it here on the grill. And as you can see, it just starts to get cooked really, really fast. Like, like literally two minutes, yeah. it's done. Dal puri, yeah. beautiful, thick bread. So almost very similar to the last one. Yes. Right? But this one is just stuffed with, with dog. Right. That's, That's it. it. That's it.
So dahi puri is basically the roti. So it has to swell up like that, right? Yeah, it means it's finished cooked. So nice and airy. Curry potatoes. So right here we have curry potatoes, and that's curry chicken. Nice. Oh, that's spicy, huh? Oh, pepper sauce. And this is a mango kuchula. It's yeah. very popular for the local roti and pies and doubles and so on. So that's the standard, right? Oh, so now he's folding it into like a sandwich, huh? And this is our roti. This is flour. It's a mixture of flour, cheese powder, mandala powder, and seasoning. Oh, it's more like a bonda. Wow, look at that. They get crispy so fast. Yeah, it's not like a pakora. It's more like a bonda, right? So it's almost like a donut. Right, yeah, yeah. sure. But this is going to be savory, not sweet. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Bulon brung and ice, and you dip in a little chutney, mango chutney, molas, and you just pass it. Oh, we have to try it. We're trying this one. Yeah, yeah, bring a plate and stuff. Oh, please, give me the whole thing. Oh, man, what do we have here? This is all bacalao, all codfish. Yeah. So this is salted codfish, and they're taking it apart. Woo! So Look at this. Oh, well, so that's how it comes, huh? Yeah, Perfect. So you have to it, remove the skin, and then we'll have to boil it to remove the salt. Yeah, so right there, she's removing the skin. Look at that. It's tough, huh? Beautiful. And we're here too. Wow. Look at that. Thank you guys. Thank you. All right, we're ready. Oh, we're going to eat right here? Eating in the kitchen. This is the only way we do it. <laughs> I love it. This is the finished product. All right, here we go. We're starting off with some pilori, right? Yes. So little savory dumplings made out of chickpeas. Over here we have the mango like chutney. Yeah, mango chutney, a little more, uh, a little more spicy. Okay. And we have a, a different variation of mango, sweet mango as well. Too. Sweet mango. A little more, more, more sweet than this one as well. Too. It looks like a thick soup. Yes. There's a hot sauce. Just dip and go in. Maybe in here first. Yes. You want that? Mmm. Oh wow. Nice. It's like very like soft and spongy at the same time. Outside not too crispy. Mmm. I want to double dip, guys. I have to. Oh man. I see how it absorbs mm -hmm. the chutney, the mango. The thing absorbing a little bit. Mmm. So it's green mango, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, what a mix right there. And this one also is very slimy. Exactly. And it complements the, the polori as well. Mm -hmm. It complements the polori and the polori absorbs yeah. the flavor. So yeah. both flavors together. Yeah, both flavors together. <laughs> Very packed with flavor here. <laughs> Let's see, just get, open this fluffy, yeah. beautiful donut up. Mm -hmm. Cook through. And then I'm going to just dip it right here like this. See, it absorbs yeah. that beautiful green. Look at and that. It just drips. And it brings out the, the chickpeas flavor as well. Mm. So you're getting flavors of Trinidad right there. Mm -hmm. Compact flavors of Trinidad right there. And this is one of our popular street food as well too. You want to go, grab and go, they're gonna go. I think we should try hot well, sauce. Oh, try, try this other one. So I'm gonna try this more one. Spicy. Think it's spicier. Yeah. All right. This is the mango kuchula. Mmm. Mmm, more pepper. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember that all of we have the mango variation is because we also do tamarind as well. Okay. Tamarind is complement as well too. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Nice chunks of mango. Yeah. Got the pepper throughout. Yeah. It's not as slimy as this yeah, one. Exactly. This one's spicier actually, yeah. I felt. It is. Yeah, right? I think here is just the black pepper. Right. And if you want to, Hot sauce. you just go a little, <laughs> a little wild. That's my, that's my belly at three in the morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's hot. That's gonna wake up. That's how we go. That's gonna it's gonna bring out the sweats here. Oh my gosh. Any more. Oh this is the best right here. This one? Whole thing right there. Mm-hmm. It just like soaks it up, and, right? And that's the correct way to eat it. Yeah, right? With your hands, that's it. Thank you. Beautiful. That's the correct way. Just very chunky. Yeah. Hot sauce. You get some of that beautiful hot sauce. And most of the hot sauce in Trinidad is made more with the scotch bonnet pepper. Oh my god, I'm bringing the sweats out. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Like amazing. Yeah. If you want more, look at this. <laughs> That's so good. Mm, have some more, man. Three in the morning. We need to Three in the morning. fill up. Mmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Man, the mango. Wow. Nice. Oh, I'm so happy. Mm. Oh, you're gonna try some more. Yeah, yeah. Have as much as you want. <laughs> yeah, soak it up, right? 
So this is aloo puri. So what is it? Basically, it's aloo, which is potatoes. They stuffed it. They rolled out the dough, and that's what we saw right here. So then they put it on this beautiful little griddle, and then he keeps adding some ghee, flips it, more ghee, flips it, and then he folds it, and here we have it. Perfect. Looks great. I don't know if I can eat this and the roti, but <laughs> we still have doubles later, dude. And that's traditional just like that, right? Fold it like that. All right, so next up, we're going to try the pepper roti. Pepper roti. So what's in it? It's uh, the main ingredient is pepper, there's pepper roti, but of there's course. cheese, there's carrots, uh, there's sweet peppers, and people put a different variation of stuff in. But the main ingredient is the pepper. The pepper. <laughs> okay. It's like an oily stuffed pizza. <laughs> okay, so how do we do it? Just break it there and just break it. So right. traditional way, just go with one hand, right? But both hands, right? Both hands. Try to get it full in. Okay, yeah, I got filling in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think from the top here, you want to get more from the top as well. Mm. Love it. Lots of layers. Again, very flaky. Mmm. Now I'm getting some of the inside, right? Right. So we have some carrots. Lots of pepper in here. Yeah. Wow. You're gonna put it as well inside there as well. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh yeah. And there's all the cheese as well in there. Mm-hmm. So when all those flavors combined together mm -hmm. with the roti. Because the roti basically is a parata roti. It's just a, like layers, yes. right? And right. It, the stuffing is like a lot of stuffing right. here. So there's at least about four or five ingredients inside there mm. that complements the pepper as well too. That's it. Now that is more. You know, in, you know, in, this is more. This is more. You know, in Italian cuisine, they call it stromboli. A stromboli, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Similar thing, right? <laughs> right. Basically, just dough mixed with a lot of ingredients. Right. That's it. Oh, it's good. <laughs> they actually keep going, but <laughs> just put the last one together and make this. Yeah, so it, it wasn't originally made with potato stuff. So this is a chicken roti. This is what we saw being built earlier. We're gonna have this next. Mm-hmm. Mm. Go with pepper. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan. It's called Black Gold in India. <laughs> mm. All right. So this is our wrap roti we wrapped earlier one. Mm -hmm. So you see how it's packaged? Like a grab and go. Love it. Grab and go, really easy. Really easy. Huge. Yeah. Huge. <laughs> yeah, and what when you have a roti, you must have a red solo. So this is a local soft drink made here in Trinidad, and this is a massage when you have roti. So you're gonna take a bite of the roti and have a sip and tell us how it is. Okay, so how do we start this thing? Right, so we're just gonna un unravel. Okay. Both people. Like that. And we can hold it up like you hold a like a, a piece of beer or a, like a this. wrap or something like that. Alright, <laughs> that's it. So everything is in there still already. So this is uh, breakfast, uh, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> uh, breakfast, brunch, meal. Look how massive it is. <laughs> Potatoes, we also have chicken in there. So I just bite. Yes. You can't split this, right? You go right, you go right ahead, you go right ahead. <laughs> oh wow. Mmm. Everything in there. So I got potato curry, a mayo curry. No, mayo curry, chicken curry. Look at this place. They're, they're different variations. That's black goat roti, that's shrimp roti. They have veg roti, chicken mm. roti, beef roti, and David, there's something that's very important to complement to this. The soda. When you come to Trinidad, you must have a roti and a red solo. And a red solo, <laughs> like Han Solo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everything, everything complements each other. Uh, oh, that was refreshing. That mm -hmm. yeah. Cherries, huh? Yeah. See? Nice cherries. Woo. Oh, great combination, yeah, right? Yeah, see? This is good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking a lot of spice. I don't know if it was from earlier or what, but <laughs> it's like a plump sandwich. Huge. Look at this. The roti. Massive, super thick, nice texture. Look at that. Look at the filling right there. And obviously, if you want, you can add some of those chutneys, but you don't have to, right? You don't have to, yeah. yeah I mean, when they, when they open it and they pack it for you, you have your choice of whatever filling you want, whatever extra condiments you want as well. Mm hmm. Mm. Add pumpkin and the bag here. Yes. yes. Yeah. Pumpkin too? The deeper you bite, the more you get. Yeah. The more saucy it is down there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So everything 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 acts reacts together. Mm -hmm. the, from the, the dal and the puri, the, the curry, wow. the different flavors as well, the green season, the, the spices, the aromatics. So you have a, a package of trini in a roti, right? In a roti. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna have to get the go, man. Maybe one bite. <laughs> Excellent. Fantastic. Wow, a lot of combination. Yeah. Mmm, the pepper. And everything works together. Mm -hmm. Everything comes in together and works together. And, and like I feel spice now? Yeah. So that's why you have this, right? Uh, exactly. Uh, Especially with the heat here in yeah. Trinidad, it's perfect. It cools you down. Yeah. Dude, look at my head. 
Just breaking sweats. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also in the kitchen. <laughs> so you just pull it to go. Perfect. Thank you. Beef pie. <laughs> this is going to be great. Mm hmm. Mm. So you would think it's going to be straight savory. From Miami, we have empanadas. Yeah. There are a lot of these flaky, you know, pastries, right? Mmm. Right. So they have this for breakfast typically. This is nice. So it's a mix with like a lot of different herbs in here. There's some seasoning. And us Muslims, we usually have this for Ramadan to break fast with that. Mm hmm. Perfect. Yeah. This and dates. There you go. Well, I'm pretty full, and we still have doubles right now, but it's all good. Four in the morning, we're ready to go. My friend, how you doing? Everything good? Okay, so I am Sharita. It's the owner of this place. I started it many years ago. Family business. Amazing. Cassie's Creations. Woo! That was so good. I'm full. Don't forget your solo. Okay. I don't know where Han is. <laughs> the Millennium Falcon. tell me that before. After all that food, we're going for doubles. Yeah, so the reason we're doing doubles at this time in the morning is because here in Trinidad, everyone on the streets gets the doubles from a factory. There's a few here in Port of Spain. We're going to one of them. So it's just two people just making non-stops bara and chickpeas or chana. So that's, that's the combination, right? Vegetarian. <clears throat> After literally a one minute drive, we are here. This is Donkey and Odie's doubles. Right here, doubles and pies. Hi guys. Again, this is somebody's home. They do it all here and then people come in, they buy it to get to the streets. Morning. Morning. How you doing, my friend? Good. Yeah. How's everything good? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Sorry, what's your name? Oli. Oli. Yeah. Perfect. You're, you're on the side. <laughs> Amazing. All right, good morning. Morning, morning. How's everything good? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. All right, so that's the bada, right? Beautiful. How's everything good? So here they're making doubles and they're making pies. Those pies are lamb pies. It, this is crazy. I've never seen them throw pies into the fire, into the oil, and it cooked that fast. I think it was like four seconds. Like four seconds. She literally just drops it in, cooks, takes it out. Boom, done. I mean, that's some, that's some hot oil. <laughs> and I'm feeling the spice in here. So what is bara? Basically dough. They throw it in the fryer, then they put it on the stick and then let it dry out. Yeah. And that's it. And then you have your fill in your chickpeas, all the ingredients, all your condiments. Exactly. So traditional double is veg. So it's basically bara and then chana. Correct. That's it. That's it. Perfect. Okay. So let's try it. Look how beautiful it is. Yeah. Plus it's so fast. I mean super thin, like extremely thin layer, right? Just drops it in, he flips it twice. He puts it on the stick. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> what a fast process, huh? Yeah. How many do you do a day? You do like a thousand of these a day? Not so much? I mean, I just saw you do 20 in one minute. <laughs> so they made the bara and they made the pies. They have a few different variations of pies. I yeah. think we're going to try the eggplant, right? Eggplant and there's potato as well too. Okay. So we're going to try both of them. Fantastic. With the, with the doubles. With the doubles, yeah. <laughs> so the way it works, is they make non-stop baras from 3 a.m up until around seven in the morning. Yeah. They put them in these coolers and they ship them out to vendors. Directly. And these vendors all are in the area of Port of Spain. Yeah, all the way here as well. Look at that, beautiful chenna guys. Chenna, chenna. Beautiful chickpeas. Oh, what are these, the sauces? So what are you making there? Oh, you just aloo pies. Little potato pies, huh? Yes, finally gonna try traditional authentic doubles. Beautiful, here we go. Oh, it's gonna be so good. We're, what, birds are chirping. <laughs> There's a monkey right there. <laughs> and a dog. All right, the pie is coming. Thank you. T1 bygan pies, so eggplant pies, bara, three doubles, chickpeas, chana, um, healthy condiments. Uh, we have rose pepper, shallow berry, mango kuchula again, which is very, very popular with our local cuisine as well. And we have another sweet sauce as well. So there's four condiments, and then even more the elaborated. So we have four condiments this morning to accompany our doubles, which is one of the number one street food in the world. We are so ready. I am so excited. We got the bara. Over here we have... The chana, or the chickpeas. Chana, right there. Woo! Smoking up. You have a chana there? Just put it on top? Put it on top. You have some little pepper here. You have a, um, you have a sweet sauce. Mm -hmm. And then we have a mango here as well. Get some shallow bending. 
a little pinch. A little pinch. So I'm just gonna add the same thing as you, right? A little mangoes on there. I'm gonna add roasted pepper. Roasted pepper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll add shadow benny, which is a like a cilantro. It's a uh, culantro, right? Eh? Cula yeah. Well, it's culantro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the plate. This is a, a traditional double. And now we are turning it into a double. Double. Like that. That's it. Boom. And that's how the doubles was born. This is how it was born. <laughs> so somebody was just like, hey, I want two. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. This is going to be delicious. You're going to take the top bar off. Top bar off, OK. And you're going to pick up the china and the condiments. And... Mm. I overdid it with one. <laughs> it's spicy. Mmm, it's nice. It's not too oily. They right. let it like, yeah. like drain out, right? And the bar texture is not too thick, it's not too thin, it's just mm -hmm. a nice flow texture as well. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very airy. Yeah. You know, very light. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh. See? Now same thing, just See? roll it up. Just roll it up now. Same thing, guys. Just roll like it. that. And you literally can just turn into this like beautiful Taco, right? Yeah. Like a spongy taco. <laughs> this is a great morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is great. And this one has absorbed way more of the chana. Yeah. So you feel it throughout yeah. even more. Mm. I love doubles. Mm. Some guys have five and a tip. Five. Four. Five. Yeah. How is that possible, man? <laughs> I mean, when I was in Little Guyana in uh, New York, mm -hmm. dude, amazing, amazing. Yeah. But I couldn't do more than three. <laughs> three is like overkill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you see how everything again, all the flavors captured into that dough. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you see, the, the dough is important because it's fried, nice brown color, mm -hmm. hot oil. Mm -hmm. So it gives that nice flavor coming out from the oil as well. Exactly. And then the chickpeas for the china. With the condiments. With the Everything condiments. Everything comes together and complements each other as well. Too. It's, this is like a pure Indian veg dish. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. You know, it's amazing how you guys brought yeah. that part of India yeah. and made it something that's it's the number one street food, right? Because, you see, because, because we are so diverse with, the, with our African history and our um, Indian history, mm -hmm. these are things that came across and the, the generation go by just enhance yeah. different things as well. Yeah, so. it evolves, right? Well, exactly so. All right, I think we still have a few more pies, so. Yeah, some pies. <laughs> okay. So you think I should try the cheese and the eggplant? Yeah, try the cheese. Okay, so let's just cut it in half, right? Just break it. And also, what is important with mm -hmm. a lot of people have the china with it as well. Oh, they add it inside. Yeah, some people they, some people just want the cheese alone. Okay. But some people go a little further and add the china as well to it. Well. Okay, so it's not just cheese. There's also carrots in here. Yes, in as well. Green season, okay. okay. Some local celery or something like that as well. So, so want to take a half and half? Take a half. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Amazing. So this is like an open empanada. Yeah. Basically. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Love the dough. Mm -hmm. mm. Very soft. Very savory. Mmm. Yeah. Nice cheese. Not melted too much. You're gonna make carrots. Give it a nice little and it's, yeah. refreshment. And it's not too heavy. Mm -hmm. It's not too heavy. Texture is not too heavy. Like. Very light. Mmm. Very light, depending on how much you ate earlier. <laughs> <laughs> And next, this one, right? This is the eggplant, guys. Look at this. Love these pies are nice and soft, a little crispy. All right, let's try it. They're like flash fried. Yeah. That's what it's called, flash exactly. frying. So it's not, that's why it's not so crispy. You know, still a little doughy. Yeah. And you just wrap it up like that, right? That's it. My man, cheers. Mm -hmm. Look better. Oh. You're doing a fresh cheese and the texture of the eggplant. Mm -hmm. The eggplant is coming through, so it's, oh, it's coming through the whole thing. Yeah. Perfect. Mmm. Mmm. And, and it's crispy. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. The light oil, I like that it's not like crazy amount of oil. Yeah. They dry it out a little bit, right? I'm done. That was amazing. <laughs> we have two spots. 
I think it's almost six in the morning right now. So from three in the morning to six in the morning, we went to Charitas, Charitas. which is now Cassie's <laughs> Delight. Cassie. Amazing experience there. I mean, they have breakfast, lunch, and dinner starting at three in the morning. Yeah. Incredible spot. They're not open on Tuesdays, from my understanding. So you can go there any day. You could eat from there. Obviously, you can't go in and see the kitchen experience, but you can just order the food from outside. Delicious. The dahi, uh, puri. What else? I mean, alu puri. Alu puri. The curry chicken, the roti. So then I had also the solo drink paired with the chicken roti. So you have a roti and a red solo in Trinidad. Amazing. <laughs> Great combination. You have to try when you come to Trinidad. <laughs> then after that, we came over here to the doubles factory and this is Donkey and Ali doubles, yes. right? So we saw how they made the bara, which is these. Yeah. Amazing. Then they made a bunch of pies. We yeah. didn't try the potato one, but I tried one of those earlier, yeah. right? Potato pie, you have four different condiments and then obviously you have a chana which is the chickpeas. Yes. This is the combination right here. This always, and then you add that. This is a side, and then, you know, people are getting more gourmet now, and they're yes. adding different things to the doubles. But, uh, but yeah, what a great experience from 3 in the morning <laughs> to 6.30. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a nap now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And I'll see you next time here in Trinidad, my man. Thank you for waking up early and waiting for us. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> now I need a I need to go to sleep. <laughs>